Welcome to another episode dun, 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 of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Behind me, a 50 million rand home in a gated private reserve in Kailami that is absolutely incredible. It has pretty much everything you can think of. And behind me, judging by the waterfall, you can see that's true. So join me, Chad Rivera, as I take you through this incredible home and you can see if it's gonna be your next property purchase. Come with me. Now walking in this home, immediately your breath is taken away, not only by the size, but by the design. Stunningly designed home. Above me, you've got a skylight letting in a lot of natural light, but the light doesn't just come from above me, but also from my left as well as my right. Now, my right hand side, your left, you've got a pond. On my left hand side, your right, you've got a full on waterfall fountain. That fountain we saw in the intro video, but in a home this size, I think the best place to start is at the kitchen and we'll walk our way, or work our way, should I say, all the way through this. But your kitchen is right here. It is hidden by two pocket doors recessed in the wall. You can close these off. So if you're entertaining guests and you wanna hide the busy work that's going on right here, you can do that. Down in this direction, you'll see not only the length of the center island, which is absolutely enormous, but you've got a breakfast nook right over here. Plenty of cupboard space over there. And this breakfast nook is surrounded on three sides by windows opening up onto that incredible garden, which we're gonna show you more of. Over here, built-in fridge, just behind these doors, this nice wood paneling, melee appliances, you've got your oven, your steamers, your double sink with water filtration, your built-in dustbin, under counter storage, more beautiful windows letting in that natural light. And it's such a really nice breeze here. Today is swelteringly hot, so this breeze is incredible. Extractor fan, also melee, and absolutely massive i mean you guys could run a restaurant from here you've got your gas burners in case there's a power outage you've got your electric burners right over here two four six seven burners so i think regardless of how mammoth the task is that you're going to be whipping up in this kitchen you know that this home caters for you and talking about catering plug points for any appliances you might want to use again more storage more appliances and this would be my favorite one stunning little built-in melee coffee machine you've got your microwave your warming drawer cupboard space cupboard space cupboard space this is for your oh, I actually haven't even mentioned this guys I'm so sorry so as you can see right here you have got a smart home system built into this home so in each and every one of these you can press that and you can go not only through and I've just turned it on let me just turn that back off uh, we are listening to the radio there. In the ceiling, you can see the speakers. These speakers are in every single home. So no matter what room you're in, you can listen to music or you can control what music is being piped throughout the home and what you want to go where. You can also control all of your lighting as well as plenty of other functions throughout the home. This door leads right back into your dining room and off this way are all your utilitary rooms. So the first one is your scullery and let's talk about what's in the scullery. Your scullery has got all of your under-counter storage for your appliances, your dishwasher and your washing machine. You've then also got your double sink. So if you've got any other washing up to do, you can do it right there with plenty of other cupboard space. Moving a little bit further along in that hallway, you find your dry goods storage room as well as a laundry room for all your laundry needs. Then if you carry on further down that hallway, you'll find yourself outside. This is where your carport are positioned. Now there are no garages in this home. However, the carports are all undercover and it is designed specifically to accommodate a helicopter. Yes, you've heard me right. Take a look at the size of this carport and then just outside of that carport, you will see the helipad. So you can land your helicopter there. I mean, this is a 50 million rand home and you can cart it all the way inside so it is protected from the elements. Then again, what other way would you like to arrive to a home like this if not in a helicopter? But let's head back inside and take a look what the dining room area of this home has to offer. So we're coming through these massive pocket doors as I mentioned, here it is, the dining room table located in its very own section of this home. So the living quarters are sectioned off into three or four if we talk about the kitchen section. So we've got the dining room area here, which is absolutely massive, windows over there, as well as windows over there, this beautiful peaked ceiling. You've got these exposed wood rafters. It does feel like you're living at a lodge. And I mean, behind me, take a look at that view. These are stackable doors outside patio area. 
but this is the one section. The second section would be this right here, and this I'd say is your den or your transition area between the dining room and the living room. You've got a gas fireplace, one of three in this home, lower ceilings, making it feel more warm, more cozy, more intimate. Beautiful, beautiful wood paneling over here, I must admit, sorry I'm ducking, must admit really like the paneling. And then if you're in the mood for a tune, the piano area, you can lift this up and dazzle your guests with your artistic flair. And then some built-in cupboards right over there. You've got a little bit more of that rustic feel by that feature wall. And here it is, your lounge area. Massive lounge area, a repeat of the windows up in the peaked ceilings. Love the rafters, so much space. I mean, take a look at how I can walk across this right over here. And with the carpet, it really feels so cozy, so warm, so intimate. I must admit, this house doesn't feel too big. It doesn't feel too spacious. It doesn't feel like things had to be crammed into it to make it look nice. Um, I love the design elements of this, specifically the wood. And then TV over there, speakers in the ceiling. You can sit down, relax, enjoy yourself. I spoke about that smart home earlier. Bang, right over there next to the TV, you've got your smart home panel. Now, doors over there, in case you want to enjoy the patio. I wanted to take you to the patio, but after talking about being so cozy here and enjoying it and showing off to your guests, if you're going to show off to your guests, this is exactly what you want to show off. Welcome to the bar area. So behind me, massive bar. We're going to take a look at that. Right over here, two chairs enjoying the second of the three fireplaces. The third one's located in the master suite, so stay tuned for that. More doors letting you out onto your patio area. Excuse the noise here, it is the fridges running, so you know it is well equipped. You've got your prep sink, you've got your fridge and your ice makers all underneath here, all of them glass paneled, so you can see exactly what you're grabbing. Stunning Caesar stone countertops, these white Caesar stone countertops. Got speakers in the ceiling, TV behind me, and then we're getting fancy, because I mean, we were playing music, we were playing piano, so we have to be fancy. Through this door, temperature controlled, peaceful wine tasting area. So all the space here for your wines, this low lit romantic down lighting table right over here. You can sit down with friends, close it up and enjoy a beautiful bottle of wine. So now I think it's time to show you what I would say is the killer feature of this home and that is its outside area. So let's close this up. I hate to spoil that wine since you guys, or at least my viewers who have been watching me for a while know exactly how much I love taking a souvenir bottle of wine with me we'll call it a souvenir but come outside with me and this is your outdoor area so the length of it is absolutely massive running the full length of all of the areas beautiful beautiful chandeliers speakers in every single one of these uh, ceiling beams i'd say these massive concrete beams you can see them right there one two three four five six and then on the inside you again got this transition area if you'd like to have this as a serving table if you've got a lot of guests, you can put out all the stuff right here. And then dining room area right over here. Again, guys, we in South Africa, we know what South Africa's favorite pastime is, and that is a braai. So right over here, absolutely gigantic braai area. So much space underneath for all your stuff. I think I say massive so much in this home, but it is gigantic. And something else that's gigantic is right over here. So follow me as you can come and enjoy not only the stunning grounds, but also your rim flow pool that looks out onto your very own private dam. So here's the entry to the pool, stunningly blue pool, and that is without a doubt an unparalleled view. So you're gonna be waking up to every single morning because how much better do you get? So because this home was one of the first to be built in this estate, you get prime location, which means you're always gonna be having an unobstructed and incredible view. So now that we've taken a look at all the living areas, let's take a walk down this beautiful passage and see what the bedrooms have to offer. And there's so much more here than just bedrooms. Obviously this passage is clad with glass on one half and these two doors opening outwards onto your very own private dam. Well, private pond at least, and that surrounds your parkade. Beautiful ambiance for a home that is situated with wildlife and nature in mind. All this exposed concrete really adding a nice touch of the rawness that this home has. You'll see pocket doors leading into the first room, and this 
being your office slash exercise room. You can have it however you'd like it done or you could design it however you'd like it. Let's take a look at this. You can design this however you'd like at least beautiful, beautiful space. So much for you to work with, very tall ceilings. Obviously aircon, I mean, this is South Africa and above us. We've got these speakers built into the ceiling so that you've got your surround sound. And in this home, it is surround sound. Every single room, you can play your music. Then you've got your very own patio as well. What office is really done well without a patio? Behind these blinds, we'll open them up and you can go outside and enjoy the garden. This home also has a built-in safe. And next up is one of my favorite places, the gym. Another pocket door. And I want to show you this pocket door, in fact. Stunning wood, really light wood. And then in here, we've got these frosted glass panels. But here's your gym again, a large, large space, dominated with exercise equipment on all of the corners. You've got more areas for you to walk outside. You can open up all those doors, get in a breeze, although cooling is not a problem with that massive aircon, speakers in the ceiling, and then your very own bathroom. Let's check it out. Your bathroom comes fully equipped with a walk-in shower, full-size bathtub, toilet, and then single vanity with storage space. So after a sweaty workout, this bathroom has got you covered. And now coming out of the gym, the first thing you face is this, I wanna say entry hall, but it's not really an entry hall. It's a transitioning hall, I'd say, because you're gonna be transitioning from the bottom floor, the ground floor, to the first floor, which is just above us. You can do it either using this stunning spiral staircase right over here. You've got this stainless steel wrapping all the way around, or if you wanna be fancy, if you wanna be bougie, what you can do is you can come right over here and you've got your elevator. Press the button, elevator doors open, and you find yourself upstairs. Upstairs is where the master suite is located, so you're gonna have to stay tuned because we're gonna show you that last. Again, the last thing I'd like to mention, not only is the massively tall ceilings, but also all these windows built in all around, letting in so much natural light, and also letting you enjoy the design elements of this home in particular. You've got that pond over there, you've got all this wildlife, beautiful tan flooring. It really does feel like you're at a lodge on holiday, really relaxing and living your best life. But up next is behind the security gate, and that is all the bedrooms. All of them have ensuite bathrooms. Let's take a look. And here is the security gate, basically sealing off the bedrooms for the rest of the home. It is purely there for peace of mind. You've got 24 hour patrols, fingerprint access at the front gate, as well as high security fencing all the way around the state. So security should never be a problem for you. Over here, let me mention this. This here is your server room. So you do have a built-in server room and that takes care of all the smart home elements I mentioned earlier. A really nice raw stone featured wall on my left-hand side. And then over here, you've got another zen outdoor area, a place where you can sit down, relax, listen to the trickle of water from the fountains over there. Two doors opening outwards, as well as plenty of windows. And to my left is your first bedroom. So coming through to the first bedroom, you've got your smart home elements right over here, or your lighting, floor heating, lamps, really, really cool little panel. And then stunning wood flooring, really bringing in a lot of warmth for these bedrooms. All of your bedrooms not only are spacious and have their very own air conditioning, but they've got a stunning pendant light hanging from those exposed raw beam ceilings. And then you've got the view. You have to have the view. So right over here behind these blinds, you've got doors that open and stack open, letting you go out and enjoy your garden, as well as maybe try your hand at spotting the wildlife. You've got blessed buck and a whole host of other wildlife that approach the home. So if you've got some binoculars or if you're handy with the camera, like my cameraman is, you can definitely get yourself some killer shots. But this bedroom, like every other bedroom we're gonna be showing you, comes with two other features. One, ensuite bathroom, as I mentioned, as well as your very own walk-in closet, as not often you find spare bedrooms coming with walk-in closets. So let's turn on these lights and let's take a look at what this has to offer. Your walk-in closet comes not only fully equipped with railings, but also cubby holes for you to display your finest items. Then drawers open up for any other small goods that you'd like to tuck away, but there's plenty of space here to cater for even the most prolific of shoppers. Walking out of your walk-in closet, you find yourself in the bathroom. This bathroom again is 
fully equipped. You've got your walk-in shower, beautiful finishes for both your tap and shower head. You've got your vanity, full-sized floating vanity on the left-hand side. Then your toilet is tucked away with a hidden system and a full-sized bathtub. You've got windows overlooking the outside, but all of them are frosted for privacy. A pajama lounge turned into an actual lounge. So this lounge right here is yeah, to service every single one of these bedrooms. So we've got one that we just looked at, then we've got another one behind this dividing wall, this beautiful raw stone dividing wall. We're gonna take a look at that bedroom over there, then we're gonna take a look at this bedroom over here. And then to cap it all off, we're gonna go up that elevator in that transitional hallway, upstairs and take a look at the creme de la creme, the master suite in a 50 million rand home. So don't miss out. But right here is where we're gonna start, let's go. Now, the second bedroom that we're looking at, like I did mention, carbon copy of the first one we looked at. Beautiful wood flooring, stunning design elements, including this peaked roof. Really do like the tall ceilings, as well as the doors that open outwards onto the front side of your house. This time, this is a north-facing room. The rest of the rooms in the home are all south-facing. Air conditioning is included. This time, no walk-in closet, unfortunately, but plenty of built-in closets, down lighting, and your walk-in bathroom. Again, single floating vanity, full-sized bathtub, and then you've got your walk-in shower. So really well-equipped bathroom for what it is. You've got your two twin beds showing you how easily a king will fit right in here. And then just before we leave this bedroom, another very cool feature is the whole home comes with a central vacuuming system. So you know, keeping this whole home neat and tidy is gonna be no effort at all. But two bedrooms down, third one is coming right up. So coming through this door, beautiful down lighting again. The ambience of the home is incredible. Your third bedroom, the biggest of all. Again, walk-in closet with all of that space that you can utilize as you wish. You've got those stackable sliding doors leading out to the front side of your home. But then you've also got a window to the west. So even more light, even more natural light, really making you feel like you're doing that lodge style living. Tall ceilings and then again, your ensuite bathroom, full-size bathtub, single vanity toilet, as well as a full-size walk-in shower. This bedroom, however, being the biggest, you can also easily and comfortably fit in a nice couch. So if you are doing that wildlife viewing, you're gonna be doing it from the comfort of your bedroom on your bedroom couch. But now it is time to take a look at the creme de la creme, the master suite. So join me as we walk down this hallway, take that elevator upstairs and take a look at what the master suite. And here we are back in this stunning transition room, spiral staircase above me, but we're in a 50 million rand home, we've got to do it the millionaire way, and that is taking the elevator. So we press the button, ding dong, here it is arriving. Let's go and enjoy our trip upstairs. And here we are on the top floor landing, really quick trip upstairs, and I have to admit, coming up the stairs in an elevator, is a new way of living and one that I can definitely find myself enjoying in the future. But here it is, upstairs there is only one bedroom fit for a king or possibly a queen. And that bedroom is located behind these doors. Some new features on these doors, I've just closed them now to show you. You can see the two porthole openings right here, but obviously they're closed. Yeah, I mean, you can't see through them, but come a little closer and let me show you something cool. So in this bedroom, before you open the door, if you'd like, you get to take a quick peek. Make sure it's somebody you actually want to let into your bedroom. Or if they're going to disturb your peaceful slumber, maybe you're just going to leave them outside. But come on in, let's take a look at what the creme de la creme, 50 million rand home, what does this master suite look like? Coming through these two doors, you find yourself in an entry area here that you can throw some couches in, maybe a nice ottoman place to relax before they enter the kingdom, the place where you're gonna be receiving your guests, or at least the place where you're gonna be spending all of your downtime. You can see how much space there is. Again, really lofty ceilings, beautiful pendant lights hanging, air conditioning, which you need in this blazing South African summer. You've got speakers built into the ceiling, also a built-in shelving over there. Right over here, you've got your smart home control, and you can control any room in the house, their lights, the speakers, the volumes, what music's playing, really, really cool. Take a look at this, that's balcony lights, pendant lights, lounge lighting. I mean, I feel very fancy. Over here, on this side of the room, you've got your third gas fireplace and what better place to put it than the master suite. So if you're enjoying a frosty winter out here in the bushveld, 
put that on and maybe come sit down and relax in your very own lounge suite enjoying a movie take a look at the built-in tv section and then if you want to do some wildlife watching open these doors slack up a stackable doors leading outside onto your very own private balcony but there's so much more in this master suite so down this hallway are his and hers now his and hers what are you you holler at your computer screen or your mobile device well his and hers closets and walk-in closets and then his and hers bathrooms so follow me this way this is the first walk-in closet and it is massive again pocket doors speakers in the ceiling i mean if you're getting changed you want to listen to some good music maybe some classical music all the way down that way space and all the way down this way space this is one so this is let's say his i'm going to walk through here and i'm going to come to the bathroom and you'll see again his one side one vanity heated towel rack speakers massive massive shower toilet bidet balcony again all his then we come through this way and you've got a small little kitchenette maybe you want to make some tea some coffee enjoy a really nice cappuccino some shelving underneath there for your pods or your beans and now we come to her side so again coming down here got a full-on walk-in closet with your very own smart home controller there all the way down all of this covered space speakers in the ceiling really nice display lighting that you can turn up or down again pocket door and then i'm sure so many ladies really would like their very own bathroom and here it is freestanding bathtub beautiful fauceting again a massive massive shower over there bidet as well as toilet again as i mentioned the outside balcony you can sit in here relax listen to classical music watch the buck stride across living their best life while well, you live your best life and then again single vanity over here and if you'd like to get ready somewhere maybe you'll do it over here but coming out that is the wrap of this incredible master suite and it is one of the nicest i think in my opinion that i've seen so well equipped so much to do so much to see and so much really so much ambiance for you to relax in so what if you'd like to purchase this home? Well, what I'd like you to do is come outside with me. Let's go survey the pond. Let's go take in the sights and sounds of living this incredible home. And let's talk about how you could become the next owner. Let's go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have finished showcasing this beautiful 50 million rand home located in a private reserve in Kailami. I have to admit that this home is breathtaking and the peace and elegance you get from it is unparalleled. So if you'd like to purchase this home, what I'd like you to do is contact the agent Jackie from Javits and huge shout out to Javits for arranging such an amazing home for us to take you through and show off. So for myself, Chad Riveros, thank you so much for tuning in. As you've noticed, we've now moved to only Fridays at 8 p.m. where we're going to be showing you around some of the most exclusive and incredible homes that South Africa has to offer. Thank you for everybody that has tuned in and my videographer, thank you so much for taking me around and showing off this home to its fullest potential. We will see you next time, Fridays, 8 p.m. Goodbye.